This is a demonstration of Sophistima Calc, which is a programmable calculator available in the iTunes Store for the iPod Touch and the iPhone. The purpose of this demonstration is basically to show off some brand new features in Sophistima Calc. Version 2 is with Apple at the moment for approval, and once version 2 comes out, you'll see all these new features. Sophistima Calc is a programmable calculator and it uses a very friendly, basic like language. And using that language, you can program it to do almost anything. The manual is available on the website. Um, and the manual explains in detail all of the relevant statements um, and operators that you can use. As I said, it's got a basic-like language, very easy to learn, very flexible. So at the moment, you can see on screens, Vista Macalc, there are basically two screens. One of them is the input screen, which allows you to input your program as you can see, you can scroll through the input screen. You can click on anywhere in the input screen to basically um, type something. You can use any of the iPhone standard keyboards. Um, and when you're done, you press done. The other thing is, is that you can also use Sophista Macalc's inbuilt keypad, which will um, type some text at the very bottom of the input window. So, you know, for example, if I wanted to go to a new line, I'd press shift a new line and then just put in some number which I don't really want at the moment so I'll go back in and just delete that and just press done. The other thing is is that if you want to see your whole program on the screen at once um, then you just press shift and full screen and you get to see your whole program. You can also edit the program within this screen. Just to go through this particular program it just puts some text on the screen that says guess a number between 1 and 10. It then puts into memory a new variable number which is a random number between 0 and 10. It then in initiates a, a new variable guess and then it says repeat whilst guess is not within the range that we want and we want guess to be between 1 and 10. It then says, it, it then pops up a window that asks you what your guess is and puts that into the guess variable. Um, then if, if guess equals the number, then it says right. That's condition 1, which means it executes the next line. There's a condition 2, which means it executes the next two lines if guess is not equal to number. And in that case, it says that you're wrong and it tells you what the computer's number is. So if we go back to the normal view and then we just press enter, the program starts. You can see on the output screen it says guess a number between 1 and 10 then asks you for your guess, so let's just say 6, then it says wrong, my number was 3. That's all been around in the current version of Sophista Macalc. Um, what I want to demonstrate are the brand new features which makes it even more powerful. There's now a new menu button, if you press that you get access to the variables in memory, preferences and the about screen. I'll show you the preferences first, that's pretty easy. The preferences lets you specify the number of decimal places that you want Sophistima Calc to round to. So if we just if we put, for example, 15, which is the maximum, and then press return, now when we um, run the program again, you'll see that the rounding, oh, well, I got it right, so let's just try and get it wrong. Yep, so the rounding is now to 15 decimal places. Obviously we don't want that for this particular program, so we'll just go back to zero. You can see it puts the 15 in there already. If you want to just go back and maintain the 15, that's fine. But if you want to go in and put something else, we'll just put zero, and it'll now remember that, we're, that we've got zero decimal places. Again, run the program again, and we're back to zero decimal places. I'll now clear the bottom screen. Um, one of the things that's brand new and that's really powerful is that you can now go into a screen called show memory. Show memory shows all of the variables in memory in the picker control and then it shows their value in the table. So number is 9 and our guess was 6 and that's why we got it wrong. So the random number was 9 and our guess was 6. The reason why there's a whole table is because if you... Sophistima Calc allows you to put arrays 
which are called table variables and they'll have more than one value and then you can scroll up, up and down the table view to get all of those values. So now we go back and we show you how um, you can use the debug feature of Sophista Macalc to step through your program. Of course given that we're using a programming language it's easy to um, have typos or perhaps some syntax errors in your program so Sophista Macalc now allows you to step through the program in debug mode. To get into debug mode we press shift and enter which gets us into debug mode. Now debug mode basically says that we have to press enter to continue. You can see the input window text turns red and then if we just scroll up you'll see that there's an arrow which tells you the line that the um, that Sophista Macalc is about to pass in other words, about to execute. So we know exactly which line in the program we're up to. During the debug process, we can always go into memory. So again, the guess is still 6 and the number is still 9, but that will change as you will see. So we go back and it says press enter to continue, so we press enter. It then goes to the next line, which is that it, it's about, it, it puts guess number between 1 and 10 on the screen, which was that first line. It now goes into the line that puts a random number into memory. So let's press enter. Okay, now it's up to um, initializing the guess variable. So if we go into um, show memory, we can actually cheat in this program because now we know what the number is, the number's eight. So we know what that number is because it's been put into memory. We know which part of the program we're up to and we can cheat because we know the number's eight. If we press enter again, it goes to the next line, which is to repeat asking you what your guess is, whilst the guess is not within a particular range. It'll now go to the line that actually asks you your guess. Let's put in 8 to show that we know what that number is. So now if we go into the variables memory, we'll see that the number is 8 and our guess is 8. So we'll definitely get it right. So we keep scrolling through. The condition is satisfied that says it's right, so you can see in the output screen we've got right. It'll skip the next condition. It'll skip that, that text. And there you go. It's the end of the program. The input window is now changed back. There's no longer an arrow in it and the text is no longer read. The debug part says it's the end of the program. And if we look back, we can see that we were right about which variable we entered. So that's very powerful, and to show you how powerful it is, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, specific, we'll put a syntax error in the program here. We'll just put, say, the letter L, two letters L, which won't make any sense to the um, interpreter. So we'll now show you what happens. It now says guess a number between 1 and 10, unknown command. So it's found a command that it doesn't understand. And if you didn't have the debug feature, you wouldn't really know where to start. So we'll clear the bottom screen, and this time we'll go into de debug mode. So debug mode basically starts at the first line, which is to put guess a number between 1 and 10 on the screen. We'll press enter. It puts that on the screen. It goes to the next line, which is mem number equals rnd10, which is basically a random number between 0 and 10. We press enter, 